Getting ready to go to work can get pretty involved for Trent McFarlane, but his career path is a little bit outside the typical nine to five. Sultry. Well, I was looking for a job where a man can make a good living wearing makeup and there's only a few options. No, I'm joking. Joking is something Trent knows a lot about. For more than 20 years, he's been bringing smiles and laughter to arenas across the Southeast as a professional rodeo clown. Growing up, all the teachers in school would say, look, acting like a clown will get you nowhere in life. And last year, you know, I was 40 plus thousand miles driving all over the country acting like a clown. So I guess I kind of proved them wrong a little. Trent began performing for rodeo audiences as a child, following in the footsteps of his father, who had been a rodeo clown himself for many years. The first rodeo I did was Selma, Alabama. And so I was 13, that was really cool. Never forget the feeling of what it was like to step out in front of the crowd. And uh, of course I was scared. I told dad, I said, you know, what if a bull comes at me? He said, oh son, the worst they can do is kill you. They can't eat you. I think that's supposed to make me feel better. But needless to say, I knew I was hooked on it. It shouldn't be surprising that Trent fell in love with the rodeo girl. And now the proud parents of two young boys, they have become the textbook definition of a rodeo family. We always vowed that if we were gonna do this and, and he was gonna pursue his rodeo career, that we would do it as a family and travel as a family. And uh, Cody is two and a half, Ryder just turned one. And so they are starting to, to get more involved and uh, starting to put makeup on and you know following in their daddy's footsteps. Wendy's childhood love of horses initially led her to the rodeo as a barrel racer. While she continues to perform on horseback today, being married to a rodeo clown has a way of expanding your skill set. She carries American flag during the opening. She looks gorgeous, right? But then, when her husband needs her to be in the clown act, she is the greatest assistant, no matter what it is. She will ham it up with the best of them. Whether she's got to act like she's a ditzy blonde or she's mad at me, which I guess when she acts like she's mad at me, she's not really acting. <laughs> While the rodeo can be a full-time job, Trent and Wendy's days aren't all horseplay and clowning around. Trent's a, a surgical nurse, a RNFA at, at Baptist South here in Montgomery, and so he works Monday through Thursday in surgery, and then normally Thursday nights we hit the road where I'm actually in, in marketing and advertising. I have a home office I'm at two days a week, and then on Fridays I work out of our horse trailer. Most patients would be understandably nervous being wheeled into surgery by a clown. But Trent says that for him, the two jobs actually go hand in hand. As we're rolling into surgery with a patient, I'll be telling them jokes and they're laughing and it kind of helps relax them. And then when a cowboy gets injured, I'm the first one out there to him. So I can make a quick assessment of how serious this is or if you know, he's just trying to show off for his girlfriend up there in the stands, you know, hey buddy, get up, you stumped your toe, quit whining. Where once they were a last line of defense between a cowboy and an angry bull, Today's rodeo clown is more about making people laugh. But this isn't exactly a circus ring. In an arena full of bucking bronx and charging livestock, Trent has occasionally found himself on the wrong side of the stethoscope. But every time the rodeo rolls into a new town, all the bumps, bruises, and long days on the road pay off. You can't turn the TV on without having bad news show up. So to be able to go out there and provide a family who may be struggling, going through hard times, two and a half hours, to enjoy themselves and sit back, relax, have a good time with their family, that's the greatest job in the world to me. Whenever the crowd is right there in your hands and you're making them laugh and they're loving what you're doing, it's great. It's like a high I can never explain. For Simply Southern, I'm Samantha Carpenter. Ooh, <laughs>